Dream meaning of glove. Seeing glove symbolizes innovations. Wearing glove in a dream indicates that you will be in step with innovations related to your job instantly. To see that your glove is very small for your hand in a dream indicates that your job will be changed and this change will be good for you. To see your glove is too big for your hand in a dream indicates that there will be some changes about your rank and your respect will increase. To see that your glove is too thick in a dream indicates that there will be changes financially and your money will increase. If you see you are wearing glove in a dream indicates that you will quarrel with your wife. Taking of glove in a dream indicates that in a quarrel between your wife you should take it lying down. To see that you give glove as a gift in a dream indicates that you will your friend a back about his problem. To see that glove is thin in a dream indicates that you will have a change physical and you will seem better. To see that you are wearing someone else's glove in a dream indicates that a new person will attend your family and you have not a blood relation with this person. To see that someone else is wearing your glove in a dream indicates that a new person will attend your family and you have a blood relation with this person. If you are man and wearing woman glove in a dream indicates that your ideas will change and this changes are related to your business. If you are woman and wearing man glove in a dream indicates that you will change your furnitures. Knitting glove in a dream indicates that you will change your home and you will spend lots of money during this change. Seeing someone who is knitting glove in a dream indicates that you will take pleasure in changing your home and you will ask help from your friends. Seeing child glove in a dream indicates that there will be new friendships in your life and you should be careful your friendship. To see that you are knitting small glove in a dream indicates that you will have trouble financially but you will overcome it in a short time. To see that you are knitting big glove in a dram indicates that you will have changes related to your children's school and this change will be good for you and your children. To see that there is glove in your one hand in a dream indicates that you will keep your distance with some of your friends. Why are dreams hard to remember? Researchers estimate that 5 minutes after a dream, people have forgotten 50% of its content, increasing to 90% another 5 minutes later. Most dreams are entirely forgotten by the time someone wakes up. It is not known precisely why dreams are so hard to remember. However, there are several steps that people can take to improve their dream recall. These include Waking up naturally and not with an alarm. Focusing on the dream as much as possible upon waking. Writing down as much about the dream as possible upon waking. Making recording dreams a routine. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include To represent unconscious desires and wishes To interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep To consolidate and process information gathered during the day to work as a form of psychotherapy. From converging evidence and new research methodologies, researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing, consolidates learning and memory tasks, is a subsystem of the waking default network, which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming. Dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real-life experiences. Participates in the development of cognitive capabilities. Is psychoanalytic, dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning. Is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions, 
experience of the present, processing of the past, and preparation for the future. Provides a psychological space where overwhelming, contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, Dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7. However, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8 hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical 2 hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. Some cultures practiced dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration.